it's my pleasure to talk to you about abdominal CT and advanced techniques because uh, it is one of my favorite topics. And uh, as we do this, let me see if I got the right control here. There we go. Here are my disclosures. And um, I also thank Brocco Diagnostics for this, their support and also for some of my research support. All right, so let's first of all look at indications for doing abdominal CT. One of the reasons that we rely on CT to, to do the imaging of the abdomen and pelvis is for the detection and characterization of focal lesions, not only solid lesions and solid organs, but even cystic, cystic lesions as well, primarily in the liver and the pancreas, which are particularly challenging, also in the kidneys and the adrenals, which are a little easier in general. The spleen can be challenging as well because of the unusual enhancement pattern. And the bowel wall is a tough area because sometimes luminal contents will make it difficult to find bowel wall lesions. Here's an example of a patient that had a CT angiogram for evaluation of the pancreas. And you can see, although these are not very reliable for finding uh, tumors because often the tumors themselves don't have a regularity or encasement of the vessels, you can see that there is actual narrowing of the proximal gastroduodenal artery. And it's actually helpful in this case because if you look exactly in that location on the axial images, you can see that the narrowing does correspond to a hypoenhancing mass in the, in the head of the pancreas. You can actually see that there's a, there's a, a biliary stent.